The nation has watched Prince Harry and Prince William grow up together. From a bond that seemed almost unbreakable at a young age, the pair's relationship is said to have hit the rocks in the past few years. The feud was heightened when Harry was openly critical of the royal family as he left with Meghan to move to the United States. However, recently, Prince William and Prince Harry have reportedly decided to put their personal tensions on the back burner as part of a very good PR move. This claim's been made by ITN's Tom Bradby. He weighed in on Prince William and Prince Harry's conservations with the Archbishop of Canterbury. There he claimed, it's often said funerals are a time for reconciliation and that's a scene a lot of people wanted to see, not least the family itself. Royal commentator Eve Pollard also chimed in and admitted, they were talking. They were possibly overcome by emotion. They were talking, and that's got to be a very good sign. Let's hope that they sort their recent troubles out because the Queen needs them both. Prince Harry's interview in the 2019 documentary Harry and Meghan, An African Journey revealed just how much Harry was struggling. In response to a question about whether he and Prince William were feuding, Harry confirmed they had good days and bad days. Part of this role and part of this job and this family being under the pressure that it's under, inevitably, you know, stuff happens, Prince Harry explained. He continued, but, look, we're brothers. We'll always be brothers. We're certainly on different paths at the moment but I will always be there for him and, as I know, he will always be there for me. Prince Harry added, but as brothers, you have good days and you have bad days. During the interview with Bradby, Prince Harry shared the heartbreaking way he's reminded of Princess Diana's death. When asked, do you feel at peace in a way yet or is it still a sort of wound that festers? Prince Harry said it was the latter. He explained, I think probably a wound that festers. I think being part of this family, in this role, in this job, every single time I see a camera, every single time I hear a click, every single time I see a flash it takes me straight back. Prince Harry added, so in that respect, it's the worst reminder of her life as opposed to the best. In the documentary The Princes and the Press, royal experts discussed Prince Harry and Prince William's relationships with the media. Harry and Meghan's final royal tour was one talking point of the documentary, including how Prince Harry seemed different in his interactions with the press during the trip. Sky News royal correspondent Rhiannon Mills shared, I certainly didn't have any idea what exactly Prince Harry was saying to, interviewer, Tom Bradby, but how he was generally on that trip, he wasn't like the Prince Harry that we'd known before. Mills continued, he didn't really engage, he didn't really come and talk to us in the ways that he would have done. According to Robert Jobson, royal editor for the London Evening Standard, Prince Harry's speech in Johannesburg was particularly revealing. I remember we went to the township in Johannesburg, just on the outskirts of Johannesburg, Jobson said. He had a speech to give there where he was extremely furious at the whole media. Jobson continued, he didn't want to look at the cameras, he didn't want to interact. Every word he was saying seemed to have an extra meaning. The expert shared how Prince Harry was showing signs that he was unhappy. Look, I think at that stage he'd had enough, Jobson noted.